welcome to a very spooky, rainy day, um, at least in real life. I am so excited to do my first official villager hunt. We have this spooky fog hanging out with us. So I have been waiting for a while now for either Zucker or Eric to want to move out. And Zucker, as you can tell, was the, um, the first to go. He actually asked to move out almost a month ago, and I hoped that if I time traveled back, I would still have this plot open, and I did, so you can do that. As long as you haven't played on the day, on any day after the plot has opened up. So, we have this lovely empty plot. We have just a few Nook Mile tickets. Can't forget the umbrella. Looks like it's gonna start raining any minute now. So I've obviously gone to islands and asked villagers to move in before, but I've never really done it with any certain intention or anything like that, so I'm counting this as my first official villager hunt. I was really excited to do this on a stream, but my internet still doesn't really allow for that. So I'm pretty bummed about that, but I can at least, you know, cut down the highlights and still post it. So I don't have any specific villagers in mind. I went ahead and looked through the list of all of them and wrote down kind of the ones that I liked. And so if we find any of these guys, I'll do a little more research on what their house looks like and if I want to take them on the spot. So my little list here is Agnes, Antonio, Audie, Biscuit, Greta, Hazel, Kabuki, Kiki, Maggie, Melba, Punchy, Rod, Rosie, Shep, Tasha, and Yuka. So I guess we'll see. And this way, the good thing about doing this in a video as opposed to streaming... Oh, I have to do Mayday too. Wait, do I have to do Mayday first? Hold on. Okay, so this just adds another obstacle. Nook Mile Ticket. Yes, okay. I'm gonna have to get into the muscle memory of doing this over and over again. So as I was saying before he freaked me out about uh, Mayday, doing this in a video as opposed to over stream will allow me to edit out all of the, the interactions at Dodo Airlines so that I can just have a smooth villager to villager uh, kind of stream going. All right, first one. This is so exciting. I forgot how, um, how fun this was. When I opened the game this morning after not playing it in a month. Whoa. Ricky, I'm good, but thanks. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, as I was saying, when I got on today to check the plot was filled, I found myself actually wanting to clean up my island and do some decorating. So there's hope. I think this might be another Animal Crossing summer. If I can, you know, make myself get back into it. Oh, she's kind of cute. I don't even bring, do I have a vaulting pole? Oh, okay. Um, where is mine? <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to go home and get mine, so that's fine. Could you imagine if I landed on someone I really wanted and I just didn't have a vaulting pole? That would be tragic. Well, good thing we noticed that on ticket number two. And here is the rain right on time. Here we go. All right, good to go. Okay, no rain here, weird enough. Oh, this is one of these three-tiered ones. I should actually, um... With her resources, maybe? Who's this? And not interested. Ooh, she's cute. I wonder if I'm able to find the new Sanrio villagers. That would be fun. I don't know. If so, I would definitely add them to my list, but I'm not hopeful that they can be found at the moment. Nope, absolutely not. Bamboo Island, that's always a good sign. Where, oh, where are you? Oh, you need some sunscreen, sir. Mm -hmm. Nope. No hamsters or monkeys on my island, I'm sorry. Remember when I used to get so excited to see fruits that weren't mine on these islands? I, okay, all of these are fruit trees? Okay, I guess I'll fill my pockets a little bit. Get a little money, you know, since I haven't played in months and I'm probably running dry on the old bank account. Oh! Oh, is this, um, Eunice? Oh, Wait, she's so sweet. Why isn't she on my list? Let me, let me see here. Alright, so I looked her up. She is very sweet. Apparently her house is, um, a laundromat. 
which I think is really unique and the exterior is really cute, but it's so early and she wasn't on my list. So I think I'm just gonna keep depleting her resources and then we'll move on. Maybe I'll regret this later, maybe I won't. Um, it's fine. Plus I already have a sheep, I have Frida. She has a diner, so it's fine. We'll get over it. I really don't need this umbrella. Oh, goodbye. Oh, who's this? Is this Hazel? If this is Hazel, I need to take her. Who are you? Who are you? Oh, show me your eyebrows so I can know. Oh, you're not Hazel. So close. Oh, who is this? They're cute. I don't think I saw them on my villager list. Oh, oh, okay, it's Bruce. Bruce is cute, but I already have Lopez, so I think that's enough of that um, personality type. Ooh, we have a kitty. Hello. She looks kind of mean. I would love a cat, though. I can't believe I don't have any cats on my island. Monique? Hmm. No. Found myself on Money Island, so I'm just gonna do this little detour real quick. OMG, oh no. <gasps> Look who it is. Oh, I wonder if you'll recognize me. Oh no, I think my Zucker got voided. Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, oh no, poor baby. Oh, I can't, I'm gonna cry. Goodbye, my angel. Have a good life. Oh, do we have a koala? <gasps> Ooh. Who are you? Oh. Oh, she's so cute. Is she on my list? You know what? She is on my list. Hmm. Let me see what her house looks like. Hmm, her house is a little bland. You know what I'm gonna do real quick? I'm gonna take a break and look through my list and see if there's anyone with a really cool house that I just have to have. Okay, I think I will pass on Melba for today. My heart is breaking though. Look how cute she is. Oh, ho, ho. oh I'm gonna regret this, aren't I? Okay, I think, you know, since summer's coming up, I feel like I maybe want Audie a lot. Maybe I will just like take Audie if I see her and then I think I'm just gonna narrow people down on their houses. So some of these um, villagers on my list have very boring houses. I honestly don't remember <laughs> even though I just went through all of them. So I think it's gonna have to come down to if I like their house or not after I run into them. That's Maggie. Ooh, I see her. Maggie and the Ferocious Beast. That's why she's on my list. Oh. Ooh, that's a cute little saying. Okay, I need to look up her house. Where is my Maggie? You know what? Maggie's house. It is cute. Summer's coming up. It just like, it just kind of creeps me out. If I gotta be honest, I gotta say no to Maggie. Just because of her house. Oh, she's so cute. Goodbye, my love. It rem <laughs> This is gonna be so specific. There is this- I loved the Secret Garden book growing up. And there's this Secret Garden themed restaurant in Canada that I went to. And apparently there was a Secret Garden movie that didn't really have anything to do with the book. I don't know. I didn't research the movie at all. But the aesthetic of the restaurant was like- it was kind of like Maggie's house. It was just gross, like everything was painted green, pink, and yellow. 
and like there were fake flowers everywhere and there was cloud it, it, it literally had like paintings on the walls and ceilings to make it look like it was outside and there were mannequins everywhere and it was just so creepy so i don't think i could do that i can tell that um a lot of other people probably really like maggie's interior but i just can't do it Dang, okay, so we did see two villagers on the list, so I'm feeling hopeful, but we're just gonna have to keep going. <gasps> oh, is this Yuka? <gasps> oh. Oh no, I hope so. Oh no! Oh! <gasps> wow! Okay, Yuka was... I need to check her house. I really hope her house is nice. Yuka was my very first villager on Animal Crossing Wild World, which is my first Animal Crossing game that I played. Oh, I think that was my first Nintendo game that was actually mine. So I had her little photograph and everything. I never let her leave. And she was like my best friend on a wild world when I was like in elementary school. So I don't think, I don't think I'll be able to pass her up. Oh wow, this is so soon. I've only been um, hunting for an hour and a half now. I have no idea how many tickets I used. All right, let's cross our fingers for her house. Oh, her house is so boring. Oh no. Oh, but you know what? Hear me out. Oh, the outside of her house is so boring too. Oh no. You know what? Here's what I might do. So this is what her house looks like. It's very boring. It's very drab. It's, it's honestly a little bit creepy. The outside of the house just does not look good. <laughs> I'm sorry, Yuka. But the thing is, since I am designing little areas around everyone's houses, that kind of fit their theme. Like Ozzy has an orchard, Lopez has his coffee shop. I think those are the only two that I've done so far. I've been wanting to do um, an antique store or kind of like a flea market and her interior goes so well. It's like all of the all of the antique furniture items. I just hate that wallpaper. I think I think I can deal with this. I I would I just can't leave her here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to take her home, and I mean, if I don't like her after a while, I think I will be fine with uh, parting ways with her. I just need- I feel like I need to have her on my island one more time. And also, we still have to get rid of Eric, so like, there is another spot left. Maybe we will get Eric to move out soon and go find Audie in time for the summer. I think that sounds like a good game plan. And then we can just, oh, I don't know. It's gonna be so hard to get rid of uh, villagers after that because I don't want to make those decisions. I love everyone I have already and this was so stressful. Okay, I'm not gonna stress anymore about it. I think we're just gonna go with Yuka. She's always down to dish. Okay, yeah, you're coming home with me. All right, yes, please come to my island. Yay! Oh, Yuka's coming home yet again. Oh, I'm so excited now. All right, I'm pumped and now now I'm actually excited to get started on her flea market. Oh, so, oh, that's funny. Sometimes I hand you a present out of the blue and she's blue. I don't know if they did that on purpose, but I'm excited. All right, well, thanks for coming on this super short villager hunt. Um, hopefully by the next time I have a plot open, I will have my Wi-Fi fixed so we can do a proper villager hunting live stream. <laughs> Look at us go! Let me know who your dreamies are in the comments and subscribe if you want to see our little flea market that we build. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next adventure!